Okay, our first step into installing the ProLite No Snow running boards is to remove the top belly pan bolt here. And then I'll remove the kick plate. All right, we're going to tap the cores out of the four rear rivets. Okay, we need to remove a series of rivets. Uh, the three here at the bumper, the three under the bumper, the three across the back, and all along the rail of the running board up to the gold one. Okay, we're going to remove the front stirrup. While you're doing that, you want to have a like gradual pressure pulling upward. Once the rivets are taken out, you'll expose the, the running board portion that needs to be cut out. As you can see in the running board here, we, from the back you'll see that we are where the white lines are by the rivets you'll see where we cut right along the one brace and then approximately a quarter inch in front of the back rivet then we also cut out the next part of the of it where you see the line that goes toward the tunnel there and then it, it's about an eighth inch away from the tunnel and we make that line all the way up till we get to the rivet there's two rivets right to the front in between there we go about halfway between there and then we angle it out toward the rivet on the outside between the screw and the the rivet that's in the in the running board and then from there we angle it to the front of the big opening um, we just angle it so that it uh, meets somewhere uh, be before the opening closes there and then the last portion will be right where the um, where the plastic meets the, the running board and we just cut that across there. So now we're going to begin cutting it and so you'll be able to uh, see how we actually do it. Good. Make sure that you have proper ear protection and, and uh, eye protection depending on which way you decide to cut it out but we're going to be using a double cut saw which is actually the preferred method. very fast, efficient, just that you must have the protection to make sure you don't get injured.
Now that we have the running board cut out, now we're going to just do some simple uh, deburring of the metal so that we don't get uh, any chance of getting any cuts or anything. So we're going to deburr it. We're going to make some radiuses and some corners, and then we're going to uh, put a chamfer on it, and we use an air tool. And the same thing, make sure you use eye protection um, when you do this. Off, and now we're going to take the make sure this is level on the top. Okay, now as you can see we have our this side of the running board deburred so now you can able to take your finger right here and and you'll see that it's not sharp at all and we put radiuses in this corner and we put a radius in this corner in here to give it a, a stronger uh, a stronger fit there okay now we're going to wipe down the areas here that are going to get painted so that we uh, have a, a factory look so we're going to wipe this down with a cloth. Uh, it could be a paper one, it can be um, a regular cloth, but we're going to wipe this down so that we can get this painted. We're going to use a high quality enamel paint, and obviously this is a black tunnel, so we'll use black. If we're using a, uh, a green tunnel or a white tunnel, we'll use corresponding colored paint. Some, uh, if you're getting a green or orange, you're going to have to use the, get one from CAT and it'll be exact match to your rest of your chassis. We're going to use a deflector here so that we do not, as we spray, we don't get overspray onto the, onto the bumper. And we're going to just spray this. And now we're just going to take this and spray this really and you can put more spray on than what you normally would because it's going to just suck down inside of there. And there, now we're going to let it dry and then we're going to install the running boards at, at, in about 15 minutes. Okay, before we begin the installation of the running boards, uh, we've organized the rivets. Um, you can see the four longer rivets have the longest spacer and as we move along here to the shorter black rivets the spacers get shorter and shorter so it's best to just get everything laid out organized just so when you're ready to move forward everything is ready to go okay the next step is to be installing the running board we'll start from the left side here Front bolt them in place, finger tight the nuts on the bottom. Clamp the rear in place, then I'll begin the drilling process. So you drill the first hole. This is where you grab the longer. And we're going to take the clamp off. And then we're going to 
drill from the bottom. Two on the outside, the last two do from the bottom side. And now we're going to install the back. Make sure push down against it. Make sure it's against there as far against the side, and then down. And then, uh, and then we're going to blow the chip. Sometimes I'll just take this now and just a little bit of a, of a uh, redrill. Then the next step is to find the inside. The inside of this hole right here. And then we'll just Here, approximately right in the in this corner here. Make sure you keep firm pressure when installing the rivets. Now we're going to take this clamp. And we're going to bring this as close as we can to the uh, to the side of the of the sled here, and that brings the our running board in the correct alignment, the correct position. All right, now we're going to install the footwell stops. We're going to locate the the two shorter five millimeter bolts. We will start those. We're going to start these screws here, and the same thing, we're just going to get them started so we know they're started properly. Once we have all four of them started, we are going to tighten them up. to install the top upper screw for the plastic mount. We're going to use an eighth inch drill. We're going to put our knee against here to push this in as far as we can. And then we're going to go in the center of the upper support here. And we're going to drill an eighth inch hole. And then we're going to install the 
self tapping screw. And we're gonna hold this all the way to the back, or to, excuse me, to the front. There, this side is, is externally done. Now we're gonna go underneath the sled to install the spacers. Okay, now we're gonna mark the inside of the tunnel where our 3 16 holes are gonna be. So we're gonna look at the back side of this round tube, and we're gonna make a mark up there, and we're gonna do the same thing with these six on the side here. Then we're gonna make this mark here approximately five eighths of an inch, five eighths to three quarters of an inch. We're just gonna go like this here. And that's where we're gonna be drilling our 3 16 hole. Okay, now we're going to be drilling the 2164 hole for the for the spacer. Make sure your drill bit does not stick out past an eighth of an inch, uh, past whatever you're going to use, either a stop or like we have a a uh, piece of tubing that's been cut to the length, because we only want to go through the first set of plies here. We want to go through the inside portion of the tunnel only. Okay, we're gonna grab the two longer ones, one half inch and one seven sixteenths. We're gonna take the half inch, the longest one. We're gonna set it into the very front hole. We're gonna pull on the running board here and exert all the pressure until it snaps. Then we're gonna repeat it with the seven sixteenths. And then we're gonna go right down the line with the three A's. 5 sixteenths until we're uh, completely done. But make sure you pull you put pull the running board toward you and keep the pressure on the gun to so that it pulls the outer chassis piece toward the running board. Now that's complete and we'll just follow, do the same exact thing to the other side.